game to film video. The new synopsis revealed for the next MonsterVerse movie has already garnered a buttload of questions, specifically ones about this new colossal threat. Undiscovered and hidden in our world that both Kong and Godzilla will have to face. Ooh, Who nice. or what is it though? Well, that's the topic for this video. Before that though, I have my new yeah, channel called this? Rippy officially launching right now. I just put out my review for the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring to go along with the release of the Rings of Power. So if any of you want to see my ugly mug more often, go check it out. Links are going to be in the description, down in the comments, and in the little thing up on the right that no one ever clicks on. Please click it. But back to our topic for Danger Hell. Who is Yay. this new colossal threat? Let's get to it. The main focus of this topic so far has been, will this new monster or threat be a brand new, never-before-seen monstrosity? Mm. Or will it be another returning favorite like Ghidorah or Mechagodzilla? So let's get right into this classic I call monster it, argument. It, it it might, I think it might be Destroyer. That's hero, my call. I think it might be God. Like, I think it might I'm be Destroyer. I'm right now, it's looking I'm like 90% it. positive that it's not going to be a returning fan favorite classic monster. And here's why. Ghidorah has been used for Dang the last it. two movies, and we need to move past that story arc at this point, I think. And the synopsis itself pretty much rolls the devil with three heads out because it says an undiscovered and hidden threat in our world, which, you know, that doesn't describe Ghidorah at all. Because he's already been discovered and he's not hidden anymore. He's freaking dead. So let's move on to the two monsters I have seen kaiju fans trying to wheel so goddamn hard into being the new monster in the MonsterVerse. Destroya and Violante. Oh, so, so it might, so it might be destroyer. We never know. Godzilla versus Kong hype. We and many others thought that this would be the special big threat in Godzilla versus Kong. If it is, Before it's gonna look detailed as. And things are going full circle because Destroyer is once again the main classic monster that everyone wants to see in the new movie. Yes. But why is this? Well, the Destroyer movie, you know, Godzilla versus Destroyer, was actually really good. It's definitely one of the better Toho Godzilla movies, and realistically, it's one of the ones that, like, your average movie watcher is probably going to enjoy a lot more than 80% of the other Godzilla films. The monster's also a good bit bigger than Godzilla, fitting with the whole colossal threat thing. And, of course, we have the Oxygen Destroyer scene from King of the Monsters that, you know, opened the door for Destroyer to show up in the monster verse. Let's go to Biolante now. Now, I'm a little surprised to see this monster come up so much amongst the fans. But I guess when you think about she it, it sick. does make sense. Violante really does fit with the vibe of the MonsterVerse. She's a plant, and that fits real good with the set of titans already established in the universe. A universe that's more based on nature and all that, so Violante makes sense. She's a big plant monster. The Hollow Earth could hold such a strange creature like Violante, too. It's full of untouched by modern mankind, wild forests, and land. So a plant beast could exist here. And of course, she is way bigger than Godzilla. Now guys, get mad at me if you want, but I'm going to tell you why it's neither of these monsters. Why spend money, usually millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars at least, on the rights for these creatures that 70% of normal, movie-going audiences won't even recognize or feel the hype for? And remember, the description says undiscovered and hidden. Unless they change up the origins of both of these monsters to help them fit into the monsterverse, how they were, you know, created in Toho's universe doesn't really fit with the monsterverse all that much. Both Destroya and Biolante were the results of man-made causes. If this new threat has been hidden and undiscovered, while also having their role in the creation of the Titans as a whole, it just doesn't add up for these classic monsters to make appearances. To you fans of both of them, I'm sorry. I know how... Bye, big and safe. For or threat that we've never seen before. The new monster is good. You don't have to pay the extra cost just to use the damn thing. And viewers generally get hyped for new monsters. You don't believe me? Go look at Godzilla 2014 and Kong Skull Island. Both have brand new monsters and both made the most money in the MonsterVerse. 
and you may have forgotten, a few months back, we were teased with a brand new monster that was showcased in the Call of Duty Warzone event that Godzilla vs. Kong had, and it actually fits the description. At first, we all thought this is just a random monster that the art guy must have threw in for fun or something, but with the plot out now, maybe this was a hint to the new threat. The image depicts a monster who is larger than Godzilla, fitting the colossal description, and this reptilian design makes it certainly look very old and like it could have been around since the origins of all the titans or life Ooh. in general. So do you think this was a hint to the new threat Godzilla and Kong are going to take on in the new movie? I think Let it might be. I think it might be. There's I also still the chance that the strange winged Godzilla will show up. What? This is an image that the Godzilla vs. Kong team wanted in the movie, and while it didn't make it, the fact that pretty much everyone from Godzilla vs. Kong is returning to work on this new film, we may finally learn more about this ancient battle being depicted here. The synopsis did say we will learn more about a mythic battle that intertwined the Kojira, Kongs, and humans all together. It could be this same battle here they are talking about. If you think the threat's going to be this winged Godzilla-looking monster, let me know in the comments. The last point I want to bring up is something a bit more obscure. The synopsis never says monster, it just says a colossal threat. That could be literally anything. Technically, yes. if the world was swarmed with an army of locusts, it would be game up way <laughs> wrong franchise. Jokes aside, a threat may not be a singular monster like we are used to. It could be a swarm of smaller ones, it could be disease or sickness, or it may be the power of Earth itself that the synopsis is referring to. If the Earth's core was to implode due to too much power going into it or something along those lines, the fate of all life, titans, humans, animals, plant life, everything would be at stake. But we need our damn monster fights. Yes. So to fill that void, picture Kong and maybe Godzilla slowly working their way towards this overlording power source that is about to destroy the world. But to get there, they have to fight all seven levels of kaiju badass bosses that have been guarding this place of origins since the dawn of time. Each monster would require oh. Kong and or Godzilla to, you know, fully utilize I'm their skills to, and weapons. Oh, like what you're Each saying. monster growing more powerful and deadly. With this idea, even with it, you know, not being an individual monster or something that we're used to seeing, we're still going to get plenty of monster carnage, and it would be something like, like a Final video Wars. game ladder tournament like system, the, like, like what um, you see they in Mortal Kombat or something. Went to, so if you want to, this video game they went approach to the, to the alien, story, they went to the aliens. All right, everyone, don't forget to go check out my new channel, Rippy. The first video should already be out. Don't worry, I'm not. So, like, it's like, uh... Mon it's like a monster act in Final Wars. So like they his Godzilla went. Even Daniel Hill's interview. Yes.